guys, it's Rani and welcome back to my channel. So today I've created this soft golden glam makeup look. I am aware I have a few makeup looks that are similar to this on my channel, but this is a tiny bit different. <laughs> this one is more soft and daytime appropriate. And I seriously cannot go wrong with golden makeup looks. I love filming them and I love how they turn out. They are seriously my all time favorite makeup look. So we're gonna jump right into it today. If you guys would like to see how to recreate this makeup look, then please keep on watching and let's jump straight into it. I've really got to stop talking with my hands. Let's go. So I've already started with filling in my brows and priming the skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And now moving on to foundation. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation in the shade Medium Beige. And I'm just going to apply this all over the face with a damp beauty blender. Oh my god, this foundation smells so bad. This is really weird, but I feel like this smells like like rotten butter or like rotten popcorn or something. It smells so bad. Now to highlight and conceal under the eyes, I'm using the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer in the shade Ivory. And I'm just going to apply this under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. the drill I'm going to take my Alice and Jade contour palette and set under my eyes with the banana shade and then I'm setting the rest of my face with my Australis fresh and flawless press powder in the shade darkest brown I feel like I need to do my makeup a different way next time because I really hope it's not boring you guys I literally do my makeup the same every single time but just swap out the products if that makes sense like not same looks but the same um what's it called the same way like foundation concealer powder contour eyeshadow <laughs> Now I'm going to take my MAC bronze bronzing powder and I'm going to really intensely contour my face and my nose. And you guys always ask me what contour brush I use. So this is the Sigma F05 small contour brush. treasure chest palette now I just received this in the mail and it is seriously so stunning like the packaging is just gold glitter and the shades in here are so nice so there's so many like gold and bronze tones so this palette is going to be perfect for this makeup look I'm going to start out with a mix of pearl and tiger eye and I'm going to mix these two together and use this as my transition shade to blend these shades through my crease I'm going to use a Zoeva concealer buffer brush I literally love this brush for um, transition shades it works so well it's supposed to be a concealer brush but oh well <laughs> So I just zoomed you guys in a bit because you guys always ask me to zoom you in when I do my eyeshadow. Now for the eyes, I want them to be very neutral. So I'm taking Tiger Eye again, but I'm taking a tiny bit of Smoky Cortez. I'm just going to use this to darken up the outer V. I don't want it too heavy, so I'm going to go really light with this shade. <laughs> Oh. 
After I've applied the lid shade, then I'll go through and darken that up if I want it to be a little bit darker. And now for the lid, I'm taking the shade Smoked Topaz. <laughs> Going back in with the shade Smoky Cortez, and I'm just going to darken up the outer V a little bit more. And I'm taking Tiger Eye again to blend out my lower lash line. ask me why I never apply my lashes on camera and it's because I have really sensitive eyes so my eyes go really red and little. Now that the lashes and mascara is on and I've waited a little bit for my eyes to go back to normal, I'm going to be taking the shade at Topaz and I'm just applying this as my inner corner highlight. <laughs> Moving on to blush, I'm going to be taking the Mellow Cosmetics Face Blush in the shade of Bronze and I'm just going to be bronzing up my whole face. Now for highlighter, I'm taking my brand new all-time favourite. This actually comes in like a little cheek palette, but you can buy it on its own. It is the NARS Albatross Highlighter. Oh my god, I am obsessed with this. It is so stunning. Oh my god, just look how beautiful that is. It looks really white in the pan, but then you apply it to your face and it is seriously the most gorgeous golden glow. I'm like obsessed. <laughs> Now to pull the whole look together for lips, I'm taking the Mellow Cosmetics lipstick in the shade of Posh. When this is swatched, it is quite a pinky shade, so I might go over with a nude liquid lipstick or something, just depending on how pink this is, because I do want the lips to be nude. <laughs> the pink I think it looks good I'm going to leave it like that <laughs> and to pull the whole look together of course I'm going to set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray I just forgot the name of that just then <laughs> and here is the completed makeup look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I love how this look turned out if you're new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos in the future and if you enjoyed this makeup look then please don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up I hope you're all having an amazing day, stay pretty, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye!